Yo what's up guys it's Atrix here today in this video we'll be taking a look at WinLater Reloaded now this WinLater Reloaded update is from the official developer of WinLater Android and you will notice that it says it was released last week but it's not really released last week it was updated in the last 24 hours basically the developer has modified the version 7.1 of WinLater and updated the assets so you'll get now the brand new WinLater Reloaded if you get the latest build of WinLater Android you'll be able to see that improved audio plugin fixed audio in some application updated Mesa turnip driver so in few devices the win later might start running now which is pretty great updated startup selection settings updated box 86 and 64 other bug fixes and improvements so we even get new versions of box 86 slash box 64 in this update and not just that but the developer of win later frost has also provided the reloaded build of win later so it is known as win later frost version 2 it includes changes from 7.1 reloaded and also added or updated Mesa turnip drivers along with one d 3D and other improvements and bug fixes. You will need to update this build of WinLater just like the other versions of WinLater. By the way, we will be testing out GTFI on the WinLater Frost pretty soon so be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications. Currently I am working on the Horizon Emulator GTFI gameplay test which I will be releasing pretty soon. So I hope you guys don't miss that and here is our today's Google Play Store gift card redeem code. The giveaway is coming to an end pretty soon so I hope you guys are subscribed with all notifications turned on to participate and win the next few Google Play Store gift card redeem codes. Anyways, now that our win later has been updated, let's check out the box 86 version and box 64. You will see that version 0.29 has been added, 0.2.9, my bad. And also box 86 version is uh, 0.3.7 will be going with the performance preset as usual and yeah let's tap on the tick mark option afterwards we can create a brand new container but let's just go ahead and go with the container that we created and make sure to choose the latest box 86 preset uh, and the box 64 preset afterwards uh, in the startup selection settings you will be able to see that a brand new option has been added which is known as aggressive stop, uh, stop services on startup so this is a new update feature which you can try out but i won't recommend it you can load essential services for stability Anyways, LSA audio has been updated. So yeah, that's about it. 4 GB RAM. Let's tap on the DXVK settings. We get the 2.3.1 DXVK, 1.10.3 and 0.96. We'll go with the default DXVK and there isn't any change in frame rate or device memory. So let's tap on the OK option and let's update our container. Afterwards, let's just go ahead and run this container and we'll be testing out GTFI as of and what the heck man, the container just crashed. After updating, we'll need to create a brand new container or literally delete the old version of WinLater and add this brand new version. Anyways, WoW64 has been enabled. Let's just go ahead and let's create this brand new container. And Wine 9.2 is the only option in WinLater, unlike the WinLater Frost. Anyways, now that we have created a brand new container, you'll be able to see that it says starting up. And once again it has crashed, this is very surprising, I don't know why it's crashing, I think I know a reason behind it, it might be because of the POC64 version, but no, it is using the default versions, so I think we'll need to reset up the WinLater Android if we don't want the crashing issues, which is pretty funny, I didn't expect this at all, anyways let's try reopening the container too, and yeah, none of this container work, so I'll reset up WinLater on my Android device and I'll be back. Alright guys, I have reset up the WinLater and now let's create a brand new container, let's tap on the run button and see if it boots or not, and this time as I'm seeing there is no crashing, oh! I spoke too soon. So unfortunately, in the WinLater 7.1 or Reloaded update, my device is not my device is not able to run this emulator. So unfortunately, guys, let me know in the comment section down below if this WinLater uh, Reloaded version works on your Android device better or not. I wanted to test out GTA 5, but nope, it's not working. So yeah, that's going to be the end of today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.